Morning, everyone. It's uh, Tuesday morning, 8.50, and uh, it's a very quiet morning. Asia is slightly higher. The Nikkei bounced after being down 4% yesterday morning, uh, and the uh, European markets are kind of wishy-washy. Uh, Powell goes in front of uh, Congress today, prepared testimony, um, assuming he's going to say the same thing he said at the press conference uh, last week, but uh, we'll have to see. Um, Lordstown, R-I-D-E, looking for a partner. Uh, this is the company, if you recall, that uh, is running out of money and uh, has already said their production will be less than half of what it was expected to be if, in fact, they can get some money. If not, you know, we'll see somebody grab it, maybe. Uh, Sanderson Foods, big chicken maker, is basically putting itself up for sale. Um, not much to say about that. Uh, White Square, which was uh, in the UK, which was on the other side of the uh, GME trades to the negative, has closed its doors. Uh, existing home sales comes out this morning, but not until 10 o'clock, so we'll have to include that in tonight's video. And the chart on the screen is Bitcoin. Clearly made a new low. 29,450 is the last, 445 is the low. The low back here was uh, 30,205. Obviously, that was a higher low. Um, it looks like it could extend. The only thing that could save this at this point on an interim body, uh, uh, you know, on an interim basis, uh, after this decline from 42,000 all the way to 30,000, under 30,000, that's a 30% drop, um, would be a reversal day like this. I mentioned that in last night's video. And uh, if that doesn't happen, I'm going to guess we're going to move uh, a lot closer to 20,000. I mean, 25,000, there's a gap there between uh, the high here at 24.6 to 26. So there's a fairly substantial gap there. We may go close that, uh, you know, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I think that there's obviously some support at 24, 25,000. We have the uh, 100 week moving average coming through just under 20,000. But we clearly could extend down on a measured move from 30 to 42. Um, if you double that on the downside, which is the way to uh, measure a measured move on a failed uh in a fail in a consolidation would take it right back down to uh, about 18 to 20,000. And, you know, that's not an exact science, but in fact, that tends to happen. I mean, we had the same thing happen here. We went from uh, 65,000 to uh, 47,000. So that's 18,000. We got back up here to, uh, just under 60,000. The double that move took us down to about 32,000, which is, you know, pretty close to where we stopped. So we'll have to see if that works out. Uh, oil is down a little, did in fact make a new higher high again this morning, as it's been doing, you know, uh, week after week after week here. Uh, as you can see, I'll bring it in a little. As you can see, it's only a nominal new high. Yesterday's high was uh, 73.28. Today's is 73.36. But as long as it keeps moving that way, you know, down a little, maybe it comes back down to this uh, 71.90 area, which is where the five day is. Uh, as long as we keep on making higher highs, you know, this is just melting up. Uh, what's interesting today is that with the rest of the entire energies uh, 
basically unchanged to slightly higher. Uh, take a look at what uh, that gas is doing. I'm really sorry we missed this. I was looking for a little bit more of a pullback, but it rallied at the close or into the close and closed down on the day, you know, two and a half cents, but near the high. And this morning, uh, we're up seven cents, which is a sizable move. Uh, we are flagging out the way we did here. If we come back down anywhere near this 317, I will have to be a buyer. Uh, and for those of you who want to see what the gold is doing, it's down about $8. Uh, that's about two-thirds of what it was up yesterday. Uh, this was down $110 last week. And while it looks like it may be trying to hold in this area, the bounce so far is really unimpressive. Uh, so we'll have to see. As you can see, all the moving averages are fading to the downside. Open interest is down, which means long liquidation. And I'm going to say it again because more of these airlines are coming out and saying that they have to cut flights and stuff. We gave them billions of dollars to keep these people on the payroll. What did they do with it? Clearly, they didn't keep enough people on the payroll. All right, uh, enough of that. Uh, the Dow pre-open has been, well, last night it was down about 100. Uh, this morning it's been up as much as up 40. Right now it is down about $4.00. Uh, the uh, NASDAQ is uh, up single digits. S&P is down about $2. So uh, we are fading here a little into the open. All right, everyone. Just a reminder, hit that subscribe button. I'll be back later.